Hey guys, it's Kat again, and um, in this video, um, I'm going to be referring to you the movie that I just came back from seeing in the theaters. I just saw it today, and I thought I'd review it to you. So the movie I saw was Thor The Dark World. Um, it was a tie between this or Ender's Game. I ultimately decided on Thor The Dark World because it was at a better time slot, plus I thought it'd be a better movie. I was really looking forward to Thor The Dark World. I really liked the first Thor movie. I thought it was a really cool movie. I, I liked how Oh, they used comedy, but they all they used a lot of comedy, but they also used a lot of uh, action in it. I really liked the acting in it, and I really could not wait for this one. I thought this one looked be even better than the first one, and it just looked like a really awesome, ba badass movie. It turned out that's exactly what this movie was. It was a fantastic movie, and in my opinion, it's the best action movie I've seen all year, and it is definitely in my um, top 10 of 2013 because it is a fantastic movie. So, um, one of the things I think made this movie so great was, I mean, some people complained over the last movie, and I'll get to that, but the basic plot of this movie is that, um, we see that Thor, he's returned to Asgard, and he's there and everything, and Jane kind of, um, is kind of getting upset at Thor because she doesn't know exactly where he is and everything. And, um, you know, she's, she's very, she doesn't really know where he is, but, um, uh, also, Logi has, uh, been in prison for his war crimes on Earth, and, um, but, you know, Thor comes back to see Jane and everything, and she's kind of upset that he's gone and everything, but basically he says, I'm only here to take you to Asgard, and he takes her to Asgard because they have to defeat this new, um, this new villain, basically, who's trying to take over Earth. And, you know, destroy Earth like Loki did. And, uh, Thor and Loki have to pair up, basically, to defeat this villain. But, um, and that's basically what the movie is. That, and then you also have a subplot with Kat Dennings, who some people didn't like, but I thought was kind of funny. She has this new intern. You can see that they definitely have a lot of chemistry and everything. And, uh, she doesn't really know where Jane's gone, so that's the subplot. Um, but one of the things, but that, I mean, the plot really is not the best part of the movie, but what made the movie so good, um, is one of the performances to the action. Let's first get to the performances. There were actually some really great performances in here. I mean, Marvel always knows their stuff here. Uh, especially, um, first we have the big one, Chris Hemsworth as, um, as Thor. He's still fantastic. He's still great as Thor. I mean, the first scene you see Thor and he's fantastic. And, uh, I, I just think he's really cool. There's this, the first scene you see Thor in, there's, like, this big monster that Thor is near. And, uh, Thor's really upset at him. Thor just, like, takes his hammer, boom, bashes the other guy's head open. And Thor just, uh, just stands there like, anyone else? And that was awesome. That was such a cool way to introduce Thor. And Chris Hemsworth did a fantastic job as Thor in this one. Um, Natalie Portman, I thought, also did a really great job. I really like how... We got to see, I think this one, Thor and, I mean, Chris Hemsworth and Natalie Portman had a lot more chemistry. I don't really remember uh, them having as much chemistry in the first one, but this one they had a lot more chemistry. And they have a lot more scenes together. You can see they really love each other. And uh, I really like Natalie Portman in this movie. I thought she was really good. But, I mean, the biggest, by far, the best one in this movie is Tom Hiddleston. I mean, everyone loves Tom Hiddleston as Logie, and he is fantastic in this movie. There's this hilarious scene with Thor and Logie where they basically are talking about working together and everything, and uh, Loki's basically getting on Thor's nerves, because you know how, like, Logie can turn into different people? There's this great scene, I don't really want to give it away, but... Um, Logi turns into something, and I'll just give away, he turns into Captain America. And it was awesome to see that, I did not expect that at all, and I really love that. I thought he was great as well. Now, the one person that some people get annoyed by is Kat Dennings. I had no problem with her. I had no problem with her in the first one. I had no problem with her in this one. I thought she was very funny in this one. And, you know, she adds some great comic relief to the movie when there's, like, some really, um, you know, uh, ter like, some really big scene going on. And there hasn't been a lot of comedy. She's always there to have the one-liners and everything. And I actually really like her character. I don't get annoyed by her because I like her character on the show, Two Broke Girls. And I think she's really great on this, too. So, um, I, I definitely enjoyed, uh, her character. By far, though, the best part of this movie is the action. The action, without the action this movie, this movie would not be as good as it was. Hand up in for the action. Uh, if you're going to see, a, if you want to see a real, uh, kick-ass, uh, Marvel movie, this is the movie for you. Because there's so much cool things in here. Um, I mean, there's a 
lot more action in this movie. That was the problem that people have with the first one, was that there was too much humor and stupid stuff on the first movie. There wasn't enough action. This one, you get, like, action every scene. Because they're in Asgard, there's this big, like, war going on, there's these big things that, I don't really know what to call them, but Thor, she basically, um, you know, get rid of them or whatever. I thought that whole thing was amazing. I mean, the final battle is really cool. You get this really cool scene where, like, Thor and the villain are fighting, and they transport. There's, like, this little thing that they do where they just go, zoop, and then they go to New York, and then they go to London, and then they go back to Asgard. It was awesome to watch that scene. Uh, um, I thought that was really cool, the way that all worked, and that scene was amazing. The effects are amazing in this movie, and, uh, I mean, definitely, if you're, if, I said, if you're looking for a great action movie, this is the one for you. It's really, really just that good. Um... But now I'm going to have some spoiler territory, uh, mainly post credit scene, but also there's a big twist in the movie at the end of the movie that I definitely want to talk about. There's a lot of things going through my mind right now after watching the twist. So if you have not seen Thor The Dark World, do not, RB, do not live, watch the rest of this review. I'm going to get, talk some big spoilers here. So if you have not seen it, don't watch the rest of this review. First of all, um, I just want to talk about the biggest thing um, I think a lot of people are going through is that... Um, Loki looked like he died, and I honestly legitimately thought he died. And then we see in the last shot of the movie that it looks like that uh, Odin is talking to Thor, and he's saying how I'm so proud to have you as my son, but then Odin turns into Loki. So Loki did not die. So here's the thing, did Loki kill Odin? What happened to Odin? Is, is Odin, what, what happened here? I'm really not sure. But I thought that was an amazing twist right there because we really thought that Loki was dead and that Loki was on Thor's side. But then, but it turned out it was like a big twist and, and Loki's not really on Thor's side. So I don't really know what's going to come out of this, but I thought that was really cool. Uh, that definitely, that was a really big twist. And not really something I think Marvel has done. I don't think Marvel's known for having really big twists, but definitely... Definitely, I think that that's fantastic. I really, I really love that. Uh, I, I just really like that. Also, I like that Kat Dennings and um, her mentor, her mentor uh, fell in love in the end. That was really funny, that whole one scene where they're like transported and she's like, what the hell just happened? And then they come back and they're making out. That, that was hilarious. I thought that scene was actually really funny. And again, I know a lot of people have a problem with her character, but I didn't have a problem with her. I thought she was really funny. And, um... Some people got annoyed by that, though. Um, but now let's talk about the big post credit scene with that uh, Collector guy. Uh, the Collector, I already know that the guy who plays the Collector is going to be an awesome villain. He really just, from that one scene, I'm like, this guy is an awesome villain right now. I can't wait to see the rest of his story. And I really love the way they did that. But there's also a post post credit scene. So if you guys have not, so, uh, I mean, if you guys missed it, oh well, but... There is a post post credit scene, and it's when basically um, you've seen Jane and all of them, and uh, they're waiting for Thor to return. And Thor returns on Earth, and he's there. And I love the way they end the movie. Thor and Jane kiss, and then there's there's this monster that actually transported to Earth, which is really funny. Um, but then at the end, you see the words "Thor will return," which means this is not the last we've seen of Thor. There was a lot more to see of Thor, and I think that's fantastic the way they ended the movie like that. I thought that was really really cool. But overall, I really love Thor: The Dark World. I thought it was a fantastic movie. There was some great action in it. Um, it's also, I mean, it's not very long either. It's only like 110 minutes. It was shorter than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be like over two hours, but it wasn't. And I think it was a fantastic movie. Oh, uh, does it feel like a summer blockbuster? Yes, but I think really this was the great way to close out the superhero movies because this was the best one. I haven't seen Iron Man 3 or The Wolverine or Man of Steel, but I already know this is the best one from what people are saying. And just I don't think anything else is going to beat this. I think it's just such a cool movie and everything. And I just, I really, really love this movie. Let me know what you guys saw this movie. What do you think of the big twist at the end of the film? What do you think of that? What do you think is going to come out of that? I think there's a lot that could happen with that. Um, did you, what do you think of the new uh, villain, the collector? What do you, what do you think is going to happen with him? Um, I, I just, I really love how they, they make everything like a story and I like how they wrap things up. The action, do you like the humor in the movie? There was a lot more humor in this one, by the way. If you guys are looking for humor, there's a lot more humor in this one. Especially with the subplot, there's just a lot more humor. 
Um, but that's it for my review. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye.